Hi, my name is Danielle and I chose to do my second career profile on youth and family coaching and consulting. I had a one-on-one -on -one interview with Ray Gwilliam, who is the owner of Family Coaching and Consulting. Um, Ray, before he opened his own business, did a lot of um, youth consulting through schools um, at, as an instructor at the school um, and just working a lot through the schools as his contacts. After he did that, he chose to open up his own business. Um, he does a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching with clients, as well as workshops for specific needs like anger or communication amongst families. But what he mostly does is in-home family coaching where he will work with the whole family um, instead of just having one person at a time in his office. He feels that a lot of problems or can be fixed more when you're working with the entire family than just with one person. Um, his, he feels that it is a very flexible position. It's worked very well with his family life and any things he has outside of his career. Um, he works about an eight-hour day. Not all of those hours are spent coaching, um, but when he's not meeting with clients or with families, he is taking time to find new clients and billing and all the other tasks that come with this job, like scheduling, putting together workshops, um, and making sure that his clients are, he's getting new clients put together, which happens to be also one of the stressors that comes with his job is making sure that he's always got clients coming in um, and not just the same clients all the time. He's got to be building his clientele. Um, the other stressors that he felt came with this job was making sure that he charged enough to put food on his family's table, but not so much that it drove clients away and that his clients couldn't afford it. Um, he said he, he faced this hard battle with wanting to help people so much that if he could, he'd just offer it for free, but obviously that's not realistic or financially smart. Um, so he tried to find that balance, which was sometimes a struggle. Um, and one of the other stressors was making sure that he brought in enough clients to compensate for the fact that because he is self-employed, he could also afford benefits and things like that on top of it for himself privately because they do not come with the job. Um, the degree that he had has um, is a bachelor's degree in youth leadership as well as a minor in philosophy. He later has gone on to get his doctorate in philosophy, but that was not a requirement in order to do youth and family coaching. He said if he could do one thing different and recommend to anybody who wanted to do this career to take, excuse me, as many classes as you can or get a minor in business. Um, that's one thing he doesn't have and he feels like it would be a huge asset to being able to run his own company. He knows how to do the coaching part. He's got that covered, but he just wished he had a little bit more experience on the business side to really make this business what it could be and alleviate some of that stress um, that he had mentioned before. Um, starting out, he made about $75 per hour, and that's meeting with a client. So when a client would come, they'd pay $75 for the hour. Any time that was not meeting with clients was unfortunately not paid. Um, so he did say you want to try and make sure that you're charging enough for your time when you're meeting with clients and also enough to make up for the gaps when you don't have clients in the office so that you are constantly somewhat getting paid when it comes down to it. Um, as an experienced life coach, he has been able to change his prices to about $120 an hour, and he charges $1,000 a day when he does in-home family coaching, because he, he does spend the entire day, for the most part, in their home. Um, one of the things that he mentioned about this career is that he encouraged starting off, if you want to start off on your own from the beginning, more power to you, but he said he really encouraged finding a position with a school or with an organization first to really understand um, what comes with coaching and to really get your feet wet and get that experience um, before just branching out and doing your own business. But having your own business is beneficial in lots of ways, like I said, with the flexibility. Um, and he's able to add, he's been able to add a little a couple other things to his services, like he does neurofeedback, um, which is for helping with different forms of anxiety, depression, anger, things like that. And he's been able to do um, a little bit more of like the workshop type things that you can't really do when you work in a school 
or with an organization, you kind of have to go with their schedule and their pace. Um, so all in all, this career sounded amazing to me. I really learned a lot and it's definitely been put on my list of options for when I graduate. I hope that 